So tonight I've completed two DCC installs. One being the first unit that you're looking at, which is an X Erie Lackawanna SD45-2, and the other being the GP9 Erie Lackawanna. So, I finally put the finishing touches on that. So now let's have a close-up look and the nice light here at these units. I'll do a slow run by. Before I do that, let's look at a few features on the SD45-2, the cab signal box that you'll see in the upper right hand corner there, that is beautiful, they did a nice job. The HTC style trucks and the massive 5,000 gallon fuel tank. Really cool. These units are really heavy too, so they work good as pushers. Conrail used them a lot on Horseshoe Curve as pushers. They also teamed them up with SD35s and SD40s. So, stupid tripod junk. Alright, so, let's do a nice slow run by. I love that EL paint scheme. I think that's my favorite Conrail predecessor. And because it's my favorite, now I think I almost want that other unit. And back again. Awesome detail. A seventeen hundred fifty horsepower unit and a thirty six hundred horsepower. Let's go a little further so you can get the full effect. So the SD45-2 has a 20 cylinder 645 E3 engine, tremendous fuel hog, where the GP9 only has a 1750 horsepower 16 cylinder 567C engine. So and you got to figure that the GP9 was built in, oh, I'm not sure the exact date on it. It's not a Phase 3, so it's, I think it was 56. And this unit in the foreground was built in 72, I believe. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I got done tonight. And let's see if it'll pull the strain around the layout with these two units up the hill. I don't know. Let's see. Thanks for looking.